Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine feminine German nouns. You will recall from the presentation on German nouns that all singular nouns have a grammatical gender. This gender can be seen in the definite article. Here, the biological gender of the noun Frau, woman, agrees with its grammatical gender. The definite article D shows that this is a feminine singular noun. When learning German, it is important to memorize the definite article with the noun. The German noun Tür, door, has a feminine grammatical gender, so its definite article is D. Here the grammatical gender does not indicate any biological gender of the noun. There is nothing particularly female about a door. Although the grammatical gender of German nouns is sometimes difficult to determine, there are some rules that can help you. There's a lot of rules governing feminine nouns, so let's take a look at them now. As we have seen, nouns designating female beings are feminine. As we discussed in an earlier presentation, nouns describing professions are masculine. We can make these nouns feminine by adding an in suffix to the noun, such as architekten, woman architect. Some of these nouns also require the addition of an umlaut over the noun vowel, such as Ärzten, woman doctor. Nationalities are also masculine nouns, but we can change these into feminine nouns by adding the same in suffix. Amerikanerin, American woman, is a feminine noun. Masculine nouns ending in ner can also be made feminine by adding the in suffix. Rentnerin, woman pensioner, is a feminine noun. Nouns ending in height or kite, such as Krankheit, sickness, and Möglichkeit, possibility, are always feminine. These endings usually have a corresponding English suffix, such as ness and t. Nouns ending in schaft, such as Freundschaft, friendship, are always feminine. These endings usually have a corresponding English suffix, such as ship. Nouns ending in tet, such as universität, university, are always feminine. These endings usually have a corresponding English suffix, such as t. Nouns ending in ung, such as Zeitung, newspaper, are always feminine. Nouns ending in ei and ie, such as Bücherei, library, and Biologie, biology, are always feminine. Nouns ending in ans and ens, such as bilanz, balance, a financial term, and conference, conference, are always feminine. Nouns ending in ion, such as situation, situation, are always feminine. Nouns ending in ur and ik, such as kultur, culture, and musik, music, are always feminine. There are several other endings that indicate a feminine noun, but I won't cover these in this presentation as they do not occur frequently. Finally, there are quite a few feminine nouns that end in e, such as Sprache, language. It is generally safe to consider these feminine, but you need to be careful as a few masculine and neuter nouns also have the same ending. The 5-Minute German Grammar Series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.